I'm Jacqueline Clements. We might have just saved a life. I love this country of Canada. This land has many amazing towns scattered throughout the countryside. I enjoy exploring these small towns and their quaint shops. But it's not just about shops and businesses. It's about the people behind them and their stories. Okotoks, Alberta is one of those towns, nestled in the foothills of the Rockies, just south of Calgary. Welcome to In the Jump Seat with Jacqueline. I'm so excited about this episode because we're going to interview Patty Tuttle from Miles Display and Design. Now listen, this company is Fantastic. I'm actually, I, I'm kind of speechless with what they do. So Patty, I could just tell your story, but it's better if you Fine. tell your story. <laughs> so tell us what you do because it, it, you probably have seen what she does and not even know that she does it. So go ahead, tell us what you do. Well, we do um, displays for shopping malls, for um, office buildings, a lot in Calgary. Um, we do anything visual. We design, build, install, and you, if you see the big Christmas trees downtown at Christmas at Bankers Hall, we've put those up. Okay. The Santa Claus display at South Centre Mall um, where kids visit, we've put that up. And we did a really cool garden last year at the core with um, a spring garden that's actually got us a lot of recognition throughout the country and we've been asked by a couple malls and Halifax and Victoria possibly to do a setup there. No way. Yeah. That's exciting. I know it's very exciting. It may not happen, but it's still very exciting just to be asked. Now there's another another big event that you always do and it's Stampede. Stampede, it is true. And this year it's gonna be a big one. Is it? Got any inside track for us? Well, not really. We just do all the visual stuff, so I don't really know exactly what's happening at the grounds. And we don't actually do any displays on the grounds, but we do displays in different venues so people can see the displays and be attracted to go down to the Stampede. Oh, okay. So we do a lot of office buildings downtown and um, shopping malls with Stampede displays. We put chuck wagons in, straw bales, um, three, all three-dimensional stuff. You have a chuck wagon? I'm just looking for it. Uh, well, I wish we had it here, but, oh, it, but it's, a, it's actually on our acreage and we've got, I don't know, hundreds of whiskey barrels and probably eight chuck wagons. So is part of your um, service that you provide, is that like coming to a house to decorate? <laughs> no. We could. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, probably not. It's not what you typically would advertise for, but you do rentals though. We do rentals, yeah. Okay. We, we do we do anything. Like we've done so many different things throughout the years. So we would definitely come to your house and decorate if you wanted to. Wouldn't that be something? We could decorate for Christmas. <gasps> we've done actually a couple of houses in Oak Tokes for Halloween. So for sure we do lots of different things. Okay. Well, I think that's really cool. It just broadens out just what you can do in your services and you're not just for a mall. I want to talk to you a little bit about like how did you navigate COVID because your business is very much people orientated and people visiting and it's all visual. It's all visual and it needs to be in the public. So how did you navigate COVID? Yeah, it was kind of scary when it went down. We were actually, um, about to put a display in that day and I got a call saying we have to cancel cancel the display. It was um, a health fair and of course yeah and so that was the start of it and obviously after everything kind of shut down nobody's doing events nobody's doing displays so we had to lean out our crew. My husband and I worked together so I did everything okay. with him and and then we were very, very lucky that COVID kind of settled down before Christmas. 
and we had a good Christmas. Like people wanted to do something at Christmas. They were ready mm -hmm. for something. So that saved us the first year that we were able to do our Christmas. It just kind of carried our year. Christmas is our biggest time of the year for our business in general. Okay. So now that was the first year. What what about the second year? What did you do? Because you had to become creative. Mm -hmm. You had to think outside of the box. So so tell me, what did you do to think outside the box to help carry your business into 2022? We set up graduation displays here. Like you can see this display here. I know, here. I love this display. It's cool. Yeah. We set them up throughout our entire space and we had um, people came in for a price and they could bring a big group of grad kids all dressed up and take pictures and we utilized our space more. We did some workshops when we were able to um, have people in in small groups and we made crafts like a door hanger for your your house, a welcome oh, door hanger. Cool. Okay. So we tried to use our space here more for stuff instead of actually going out and doing doing events. Mm. And actually a lot of my staff who were like let go for when we weren't busy, they became a kind of entrepreneurial, which is very interesting. So one of the guys, we let him use our shop and he did some built things for people like birdhouses. He built a ton of birdhouses. No way. Yeah, so that was kind of cool. And then um, another girl who works with us started to make candles. And I just was really happy that they had found something to do when we weren't busy and mm. um, for themselves. And then it was great when we could bring them back too and when we did start to get busy. Yeah, well, and I think that um, people think about the pandemic and they think about how they had to go home and they had to be inside and couldn't visit with other people. And if you were an employee, you didn't really think about, I mean, you thought about the loss of a paycheck, but you didn't think about the business overall. Whereas an employer thought about, I have these employees, like, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna navigate this? Am I even going to be able to bring them back? Can I sustain my business with a lean to no crew but still keep going? I mean, that's all a different kind of stress mm -hmm. than than somebody who is an employee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm sure that was part of what you had to go through too. Yeah, yeah. Well, we had to look at all our costs and it really gave me a chance to kind of look at everything we spend money on and cut out things we didn't need and just go as lean as we could. Wow. So it was actually a good kind of clean the house, kind of figure out where we're, where the costs are that we don't actually need to put our money into. Yeah, I think that's a really good comment that not just for your business, but I think in general, a lot of people just had to streamline their living costs mm -hmm. and their business costs, no matter where they were at. Patty, I want to know how long have you been in business? Like, how did you get started in this? Because it's really incredible what you do here. And it is a really fun playground. I just, I'm pretty sure you lock the doors when you hear, Jacqueline's coming, Jacqueline's <laughs> coming. <laughs> so tell me how you got started in display and design. Sure. Um, well, it was back in Halifax. I was actually working at the Bay and I was in the stationery department and some lady came into the department. I was just like the cashier and did a display. Um, it was a hairdryer display or something. I was like, wow, that's so cool. And she said, you know, she came by a couple days later and said, Patty, the girl is leaving in the summer to Europe. Do you want to try doing display? And I was like, yes, that's kind of my first taste. And then I did take a retail course, management course, uh, visual course in Ontario at Sheridan College. Okay. And then I moved back to Halifax and I got um, a job at Tip Top Tailors, the men's I clothing store. I remember that, yeah. And I was um, a visual coordinator for Atlantic Canada, which is really cool to get that job. Yeah. And then they moved everything around and I got to move out west and I had never been out west before. So I was became the visual coordinator in Western Canada. And I looked after 60 stores, so it was a fantastic experience for me. And All from being like a, a lady in the stationery department at the Bay. <laughs> yes. And now you're in charge of 60 stores in Western Canada. Yeah, can you believe it? No, I, it's <laughs> like, it's the, I, it didn't happen overnight. But I, I mean, that's fantastic. In a short amount of time, really, that's what's happened. It was. Wow, yeah. okay. Yeah. So I worked for Tip Top here for about three years. 
And then I decided to quit my job and I'd met this new guy and we decided to get our tandem. We decided to bike across Canada. We started in Western Canada and we went to Halifax. Oh my goodness. I was trying to make a wedding, my friend's, friend's wedding, but we were having too much fun so we <laughs> didn't make the wedding. Anyway, we did that and then when we got back, that's when I started my own business. And I just knocked on doors and I got some little window displays to do like um, eyeglasses windows. And actually Sport Check was one of my first windows to um, actually do with creative and stuff. No so, way. Yeah, I just knocked on doors and the, I did some small window displays and it just kind of grew from there. My partner was an aircraft mechanic okay. and I'd be like, can you paint this at night? Can you do this, that? And he would. And then um, wow. it just kind of kept growing and then he wasn't really happy at his job so he got hooped into working with me. <laughs> And we moved out of Calgary and we found the cheapest acreage we could out, out this way towards Okotoks. And when we moved all our props that I'd gathered, we actually had them under our deck for a while. Our neighbors thought we were probably crazy because we had mannequins under the deck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, and it grew from there when I, we had people work on our property and uh, Jen, who works with me still today, her and I used to share a computer and it'd be like, your turn, my turn. <laughs> and then we built this building actually we're in now and we rent out the other bays and we love being in Okotoks. Mm. It's been a great um, spot for us. We use the space up here for an Okotoks Business Association meeting, which is restarting up next month. Okay. And it's just great to collaborate with a lot of the businesses in Okotoks now and a really great spot for us to work. Wow. Yeah. Well. I I mean, your story is really a success story. It, it, it just is. And I like the journey that you have been on because you started in just a small way and you just kept step by step. You just kept moving forward. And now you own your own company, your own building, and you are nationally known, which is really very, very cool. I really appreciate that you are really in this community and you really support this community and you like being local, but you're also national. So you've come a long ways from mannequins under the deck to now you have this great company of display because it's more than just mannequins. It's really a work of art, isn't it? So let's, let's go and just take a look at some of the displays that you have created and that have been out and about around Alberta. Sure. Hi, Jacqueline. Hi. Come on out. I love this phone booth. This is such a great display, Patty. Thank you. It feels like it took a long time to put together. It, is that accurate? It did take a long time to put together. <laughs> This actual phone booth here was red before it was pink. So it took the guys in the shop a lot of time to paint this. Oh, no kidding. And then this floral arrangement here took Stacy a long time to create. It's actually created on chicken wire, if you <gasps> kind of can see it in here. And we put this on the back of it, but she had to put in every single flower all the way down. And we also tried to get a really good color story of flowers. So it flows from a lighter pink to a dark dark pink so amazing and I even see a little butterfly right up there wow you've got a really good eye look at that butterfly can't even get him here he is there he is he kind of matches the gold oh. and the telephone sign very nice all right well let's move on to another display these are popsicle sticks aren't they they are so tell us about this and what was your vision in making this one um, just everything yellow is a happy color for the spring. It's bright, vibrant, fun. Um, this also showcases that we can make custom props. We actually cut the plexi and made the wood popsicle sticks. Uh, we made these ourselves. Wow. And we, you can rent these from us or they're really fun in a window display if you're selling clothing. Did you have to blow all those up yourself? No, I have a friend who has a balloon company and um, she is amazing and she did all these. All right, well, let's go and see what else you have sure. in your warehouse. Let's go. Oh, 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 
Oh, wow, Patty, this is incredible. Uh, so we've just come from a full display, but now these are in progress. Is yeah, that correct? It is correct. Yeah. Yes. So these these look, uh, I'm actually, I'm kind of amazed at all the product you have in here. Do you have a shopping problem? <laughs> yeah. Do you? I definitely have a shopping problem. No kidding, because there is so much in your warehouse, but this is where the magic really happens, right? Yeah. Is you put it together. So tell me about this display and what's happening here, because well, I love this bike. This is a spring display for a, a mall. And um, there will be some grass on the ground actually in the display. We just mocked it up so we could figure out um, what we need to put in the display, how we're gonna lay it out. We wanna put some three-dimensional props in here and not just have two-dimensional. So we're, we've got these risers and we're gonna fill them with flowers like a flower shop. So actually this is just a little mock-up here, but we'll have pinks, we'll have yellows, we'll have oranges, we'll have greens. And then we're gonna have a yellow bike in here. This is a bike we had here, but we have a yellow bike. They're making at the shop right now a metal stand so people can't steal the bike in the, in, in the mall. Yeah, I was actually gonna ask you that. Like, do you have issues with people taking product, moving product, stealing product? Uh, it's usually pretty good, Jacqueline. I'd say we've been in business so long, it's only been a couple times where people have maybe taken a hat or a lasso or something out of a stampede display. But we will screw down all those buckets onto the wood fixtures and we'll put sandbags in this back wall because people do touch things. People do grab things. I'm like, so one of those people. You're going to want to touch touch what's <laughs> I in here. Wanted to, I have touched everything in this shot <laughs> <Yeah>. so far. <laughs> It now this true. display, which is all orange right behind you, tell me about this, because this seems pretty cool. Well, like everyone else, we got an inspiration off Pinterest, um, and we're kind of going to copy this, but not really. We're going to do our own take on it. But we're doing graduation displays here again at, at the, at the um, office here. And this will be one of our grad displays. So we're just kind of mocking it up and we painted all these suitcases that were old suitcases orange and we're gonna have a huge amount of floral and then we're gonna have a very pretty floral background and it's actually gonna go over this way into another area of the warehouse. Wow. Yeah, I think we should go set up a display and I'll show you about all the work that actually goes into one of these displays. Cause it's not all fun? It's not all fun and games. All right, <laughs> okay, lead the way. Okay, so Patty, we just came from uh, the other part of your warehouse and you've brought me up to this very white, clean slate. I can hardly wait to see what you're gonna do. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. We? We're gonna have some fun. Yes, you and like, I. Okay, all right, put me to work. I all can right, hardly wait. We're gonna start. We're gonna do two displays. So okay. let's start with the first one. It's gonna be a little more contemporary and we're gonna showcase some local products. Okay, so we've got these very small candles. They are, say aloha on them. We're gonna run with this aloha theme. Okay. So how are we gonna elevate this product? So let's grab some of these risers. Let's start with the big one in the middle. Let's oh, put, she really is making me work. Put one of those on the side. Let's put it on the side. Let's build it more in a pyramid shape. And let's on grab, an angle? Like this or yeah, like that? Could, could do an angle. Sure, do an angle, try it. Okay. And then grab a little one, this riser here. Okay. And put one here and right. one over there. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the product. Actually, we'll bring the, all the product over. Actually, Jacqueline, let's put our backdrop up first because I'm worried that oh. it might be too heavy, it will fall and hit the product and we'll break it. Okay. So, I wanted to use this green graphic on the back wall, so I okay. will pass it to you. It is a little bit heavy. If you can slide it in back there. I'm gonna go into my toolbox. We're gonna to need a tool to put up that graphic. Every good display artist needs a toolbox, right? Uh, yes, and a staple gun. And a staple, and a staple, gun. staple gun. Okay. So we're gonna have to use our muscle here. We're both gonna hold it up. And I'm going to throw one staple in. Okay, let go. And you stand back and tell me when it's straight. That is not straight. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Which way? So um, your side has to go up a little bit more. Yep, that looks good. Okay, I'm just gonna throw a staple here. Oh, didn't work. Oh, sorry, you're gonna have to straighten it again. Ah! Uh, a little bit down on your side. Okay. Yep, looks good, good to me. Okay. I gotta press harder. 
Okay, great. All right, now we've got our Aloha backdrop. Now we need to raise these candles up. Let's yes. build them in pyramids. Stack them. Okay, and then you can do another stack over here. You take those ones. And then another stack here. It's nice to, um, you always want to make sure your labels are facing forward in your window displays. They're all lined up nice and evenly. And let's add a little bit more prop. We're going to put a jar in it. You can keep going with your stacks. Okay. Oh, Jacqueline, um, no, these are not, you got to straighten out the labels. They're all sideways. Work from the front. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so apparent, apparently I'm new at this. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Perfecto. Okay, now you want um, the same over yep, here? Yeah, let's do the same over here. Okay. This all just needs to be elevated to four eye line, right? Yeah, you want to yep. bring all this. If you have small product, you want to bring it up higher for sure. It's nice to add a little bit of prop in too, or you don't have to. But the gloss vases are kind of nice with the tropical leaf. Here you go. And now, it ha does it have to be symmetrical? No, nope. I'm more symmetrical person, but you do you. If you want to mix it up, I like mixing it up too. Okay. Oh, great. Um, see if that one fits or I can cut it off with my wire cutters. Well, it's... It's too twirly-whirly? Yeah, it's picking up the wind <laughs> that's in here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut it. <laughs> okay, that so let's That see. should work. This should work. Yep, that's better. Okay. Okay, and great. One more. And another one. Right here. Yeah. Or okay. maybe on this side. Sure. Right there. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to cut that one too so it doesn't rotate. And we'll put it in. And Fantastic. then, voila, how does it look? Well, it looks like it could be in Hawaii. Aloha. We do need more product for these risers. So we either eliminate them or we've got to go find some more candles to put on them. Okay. So why don't we just remove them? Sure. Let's do it. Well, this was an easy display to do, but you said there was another one. Yes, we're going to do another one. We're going to do one with a little bit more quirky prop in it. We are still doing the candles, but we're just going to show a different application with some diff different fixtures in it. Okay, So great. we're going to start with this. We're going to go a little more rustic this time. Great. I love it. We still have the Aloha candles. Okay. So we're going to take this ladder. Oh, I love old antique ladders. Oh, oh, I love this. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. Let's add a few crates too, Jacqueline. Go on okay. the right side and we're going to stack these up. So let's put that one down on its side okay. like this. Put it down like that. Yes, exactly. Okay. And let's stack this one up here like that. Okay. So we'll have an area here to put product and we're going to have an area here to put product. Fantastic. I'm going to give you one more. Okay. Let's stack one more kind of in on top of those crates. Like this? Yep. Maybe over this way a little bit for balance. Perfect. Let's add a crate here too. Okay. Sounds good. So we've kind of built this up into a really nice triangle, mm. um, which is always good to build a display in triangle formation. Let's pick a backdrop to put behind this display. And right. I've got a few backdrops there, Jacqueline, if you want to take a look at them and decide which one you want to put in. We are going to add pineapples into this display. Is there any doubt okay. it's this one? Awesome. Okay. That's amazing. So we're going to grab our staple gun again. Let's put it um, in the center, maybe just above the ladder. Let's try that. And then you have to straighten it again. Flamingos. It's because they're pink. Uh, this, uh, yep, down a little bit on your side. A little bit more? Yeah, that That's looks good. Okay. I mean, if we want, we can add a couple other images, but let's start with that one. Okay. So, same drill here. We're going to put the candles in, and we're also going to use the pineapples for a prop to make it a little more fun. Okay. So, the pineapples could go on the ladder. Okay. I'll give you one. Okay. They could go on a crate or... Do you want them all in a line? You can. Repetition's always really good. Okay. Makes so a strong statement. Okay. All right. And now we're going to place our candles. So we could do these, instead of them doing them in a pyramid, we could do them more in a line too on the ladder, like one, two, three, two, three, 
Okay. And so on and so oh, on. That sounds great. So I will pass to you and okay. you, you place. Okay, so if we do. And make sure you keep the labels all uniform. Yeah, that looks good. So you can see just using a different prop really changes the look of a display. Oh, that's great. It was so contemporary before and now we've got more of a fun, quirky display, but it still, it still works with the Aloha, Aloha candles. So, and sometimes it's nice to add signage in to say maybe a price point or to explain what the candle is. So you can always add an extra sign in and maybe put it on the side here. And this is a blank sign, but you would have a sign that would describe your product on here. And Very good. Let's fill up the bottom rung too. And we could even put a few on that top crate. Okay. We only have four left, so let's put four in a row. Okay. Looks super good. This one was definitely fun to put together and a little bit more um, just creative juices going into it. And of course, I love this ladder. What is one takeaway for our viewers to know about you or your business? Well, we're super passionate about displays and we're a super creative company. So if you have mm -hmm. something that you want us to create, um, we definitely can help you design, build, install, fabricate an entire package of a display. We like doing big projects, but we're happy to, to do some small local projects. Well, thank you again, Patty, for having us, for displaying all this and showing me how to do it. I really appreciate that. And for our viewers at home, that's it for this episode on In the Jumpsuit with Jacqueline.